All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So to start, I'm going to factor out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. Now one plus one, that's equal to two. So I have five to the power of x times two is equal to seven. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by two. So then these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now from here, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 over 2 over log 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log of b. So in this case, I have log 7 over 2. And I can rewrite that as log 7 minus log 2. And I have this over log 5. So now that this is all simplified, we, all we need to do is plug in the values of log 7, log 2, and log 5. So log 7 is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log 5 is equal to 0 0.6990. So I have x is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010. And I have this over 0 0.6990. So if we simplify all of this, we get that x is equal to 0 0.7784. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 3 is equal to 130. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of n. So 4 to the power of x plus 3. That's going to equal 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 3, which is equal to 130. Now I'm going to factor out 4 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 130. Now, 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 4 times 4 times 4, which is equal to 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 64 is equal to 130. Now 1 plus 64 is 65, so I have 4 to the power of x times 65 is equal to 130. Now we obviously want to isolate x here, so I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 65. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with 4 to the power of x is equal to 130 divided by 65, which is 2. Now to solve this, we can obviously tell that x is going to be 
less than 1 because if you plug in x for 1, you get 4, just 4 regular. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 4 as 2 squared. And now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2, meaning 2x equals 1 and x is equal to 1 half. All right, so in this problem, I have 222 to the power of 3x plus 222 to the power of x is equal to 222. So to start, I'm going to rewrite 222 to the power of 3x as 222 to the power of x to the power of 3. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of a. So now I have this plus 222 to the power of x is equal to 222. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power, 222 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 222. And if I subtract 222 on both sides, these two cancel out. And I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 222 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite 222 as 6 times 37. And I'm going to rewrite y as negative 36y plus 37y. So now, from y to the power of 3 minus 36y, I'm going to factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus 36 plus from 37y minus 6 times 37, I'm going to factor out 37. So we'll get 37 times y minus 6 is equal to 0. And y squared minus 36, that's going to equal y plus 6 times y minus 6. Now, if I factor out y minus 6, I get y minus 6 times y times y plus 6 plus 37. And this simplifies to y minus 6 times y squared plus 6y plus 37 is equal to 0. So now this gives me y minus 6 equals 0 and y squared plus 6y plus 37 is equal to 0. So for y minus 6 equals 0, y is equal to 6. And for y squared plus 36y plus 37 equals 0, there is actually no solution because if you plug this into the quadratic formula, you get the square root of a negative number. So y equals 6 is my only solution for y. And remember how we let 222 to the power of x equal y. This means that 222 to the power of x is equal to 6. If I take the log on both sides, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So I can move x to the front here, and I get x is equal to log 6 over log 222. 